this video, we're going to integrate uh, this. So uh, we'll start by first writing all of the square roots to the one half power. So this is going to be x to the one half, okay? And then plus one over eight x to the one half. And then parentheses, and then we still have the dx. The dx tells us what the variable is. Okay, before we integrate this, everything has to be like x to a power. In other words, like x cubed or x to the negative 4. We can't have x to the negative 1, right? That's going to give us something else, which we'll, which we'll do later. Um, that's ln absolute value of x. If you're watching this video, you probably, probably haven't learned that yet. So, Okay, so now uh, what we do is we have to bring this upstairs. So this is going to be integral x to the 1 half plus, I'm going to write it like this, 1 eighth x to the negative 1 half right? dx. So I skipped some steps here. You can think of 1 over 8x to the 1 half. You can think of this as 1 over 8 times 1 over x to the 1 half. And then when you bring it upstairs, it becomes, it becomes negative like that, okay? So now we drop the integral sign and we integrate. So we're adding 1 to 1 half, right? So, so 1 half plus 1, it's really 1 half plus 2 halves. That's really 3 halves, right? So that's x to the 3 halves. And when you divide by three halves, you really multiply by the reciprocal, so it's, so it's two thirds. Plus one eighth, and again, adding one to negative one half. So one plus negative one half, that's, that's gonna be one half. So x to the one half, and when we divide by one half, we really multiply by the reciprocal, so two and plus c. Last thing to do is maybe clean up this number. Two over eight is really one fourth. So the final answer in this problem is gonna be two thirds, x to the 3 halves, okay, um, plus 1 fourth, 1 fourth, x to the 1 half, and don't forget the plus c, right? c is called your arbitrary constant of integration. That's it.